hello students in the previous video we had covered up with the three states of matter solids in the first video and liquids and gases in the other half so now beginning with that next topic before i would like to introduce to my next topic i will sum up whatever we have studied in the previous two videos just because the basis of this will only form the point to the next topic right so considering solids as you can see that solids are having forces of attraction which are strongest that means the particles which are present in the solids they do not have any kind of space between them they have a very stronger bond and a good force of attraction thus what happens is that solids remain tightly packed on the other hand liquids they have looser force of attraction because their particles have little spaces between them and gases on the other half they have lot of space between them as we have already studied so they have the most loose intermolecular force between them right now in solids least the space between the particle stronger the force least movement and least kinetic energy thus it remains the strongest that is there is very little space between the particles the force of attraction between the particles is very strong thus as the force of particle is very strong do you think that they will be able to move easily no where any two things which are bonded very tightly they are not able to move that easily therefore they have very less kinetic energy and hence the movement is nil coming on to the liquids as they have very little space between them so little little movement of particles is possible and the kinetic energy is also little bit gained which helps them in slight movement of the particles what do you think on the other hand gases would have gases being maximum in space will have the least force least force means maximum kinetic energy because they will not be bonded by any kind of force and thus they will have the maximum movement so this is how we will sum up solids liquid and gases now you have might have seen that three things were important here the first one was force of attraction the second one was kinetic energy and thus third was the movement based upon kinetic energy and movement we will come up with the next topic that is diffusion now what is diffusion the movement of particles from one substance to another and then get mixed into it is called as diffusion supposedly there are two things and the particles they move from one thing to another getting mixed in it that is called as diffusion let's understand this with the help of an example now you can see that in this beaker there is a lot of particles present right while in this beaker there are comparatively lesser particles present so what happens that these substances they have a tendency to move this side just in order to maintain a balance and that balance is called as equilibrium now this word isn't mentioned everywhere this no is not mentioned in ncert it is not in your extra books but when you will go into class 11th it will have a detailed lug separate chapter for the equilibrium इक्विलिब्रियम के नाम से एक पूरा अलग चैप्टर आएगा क्लास इलेवेंथ में और उसका बेसिस यही कॉन्सेप्ट बनता है दैट द मूवमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स अकर फ्रॉम हाई कंसेंट्रेशन टू लो कंसेंट्रेशन नाउ व्हाट इज दीज टू वर्ड्स मीन हाई कंसेंट्रेशन मीन्स जहां वो हाई अमाउंट में प्रेजेंट है हाई कंसेंट्रेशन मीन्स जहाँ पार्टिकल ज़्यादा क्वान्टिटी में प्रेजेंट है और लो कंसेंट्रेशन मीन्स जहाँ पार्टिकल्स कम क्वान्टिटी में प्रेजेंट है सो दिस इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स फ्रॉम रीजन ऑफ हाई कंसेंट्रेशन टू लो कंसेंट्रेशन टू मेनटेन इक्वी लिब्रियम ताकि दो चीज़ों में बैलेंस बना जाए आपने देखा होगा यू कैन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल वेन वी आर ऑलवेज प्लेइंग इन अ टीम वी डिवाइड टू टीम्स ठीक है तो इन इफ वन टीम वी हैव सिक्स मेम्बर्स एंड इन दी अदर टीम इफ वी हैव एट मेम्बर्स वॉट वी डू वी शिफ्ट वन मेम्बर फ्रॉम दी एट टू दी वन फ्रॉम दी सिक्स राइट आठ जिस टीम में आठ मेम्बर है उससे एक मेंबर को हम दूसरी टीम में शिफ्ट कर देते हैं जहां सिक्स मेंबर है इन ऑर्डर टू हैव सेवन सेवन मेंबर्स सो दैट इक्वालिटी इज मेंटेन बिटवीन द टीम्स एंड दे कैन प्ले इफिशियंटली विदाउट एनी 
cheating right there will be fair basis it will be not like that they are high in number and they are lesser in number right so this is what we conclude from it so this that basis is same as that of equilibrium there is no difference equilibrium also does the same and this is what happens with according to that so i hope you are clear with the basis of diffusion that how is diffusion done moving on to the next part now you can see that it is about let's relate diffusion to matter and its three states what was our topic which was we which we are studying matter in our surroundings so now how will we relate these two topics diffusion and matter what is diffusion we have come to know ki ab tak diffusion hai kya diffusion is the movement of particles that means how the particles move from region where they are present in high amount to the region where they are present in low amount what to maintain what to maintain balance now what is the relation between diffusion and matter you see matter mein bhi humne movement ki baat ki thi diffusion mein bhi we are talking about movement so what is the thing which is being common in both of them that is the movement of particles so movement of particles is maximum in gases where it is maximum movement of particles is maximum in gases therefore diffusion is also maximum in gases obviously diffusion will occur only when there is movement of particle jab particles chal hi nahi sakenge to kya move diffusion hoga no and in which three states of matter is the movement maximum we have just studied that gases having the loosest forces of attraction have the highest movement because of having highest kinetic energy thus diffusion is maximum in gases medium in liquids and almost nil in solids obviously solids have the strongest particle force thus very strong bond and no kinetic energy though no movement now where are these particles present we know where are these particles have come from diffusion bhi to particles ki movement ki wajah se ho raha hai na aur ye particles kiska constitution the particles kahan present the we had studied in the first very first slide of this chapter when we had started that matter is made up of particles so particles kahan present hai matter indirectly ye diffusion kis mein ho raha hai मैटर में क्योंकि पार्टिकल्स में डिफ्यूजन हो रहा है पार्टिकल्स कहाँ प्रेजेंट है मैटर में सो इनडायरेक्टली वेयर इज द मूवमेंट अकरिंग मूवमेंट इज अकरिंग इन दी मैटर ओनली दस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन मैटर इज दैट दे आर कंटिन्यूसली मूविंग एंड इवन वी हैव स्टार्टेड दी थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पार्टिकल्स दैट दे आर कंटिन्यूसली मूविंग सो दैट मूवमेंट ओनली विल ब्रिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ डिफ्यूजन नाउ आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद वॉट इज द बेसिस ऑफ डिफ्यूजन now we will shift on to diffusion in gases now as we have studied that diffusion is maximum in gases you should also feel that if it is maximum in gases it might be seen in our daily life also because chemistry is all life is all what we see happening in our daily lives right so diffusion in gases means fast and rapid diffusion as particles have least force of attraction and thus they are continuously moving that means diffusion is very fast and rapid the particles have least force of attraction they are continuously moving we have understood this point point of concept from gases right now we will take an example and study how is it happening see smell of food instantly reaches our nose when it is cooked you have might have observed a lot many times when your mother or somebody in the kitchen cooks anything if it is very delicious yeah your favorite pizza or your favorite anything whichever you like so what happens that smell of a food reaches to you in the bedroom also where while your mother is cooking in the kitchen now why does this happen when the thing is made in the kitchen why the fragrance of it is coming out to you in your room this we will study on cooking heat is provided to the food obviously stove pe food ban raha hai stove se kya nikal rahi hai heat what is that heat doing heat is providing energy to the food particles jab food particles ko energy mil rahi hai what will increase their kinetic energy will increase kinetic energy kiski increase hogi jo food mein particles present hai because we told you that anything which has space and has mass is matter so will food be also a matter yes because it is occupying some space and it is having some mass ab jab ki wo matter hai to uske andar kya hoga particles hai अब पार्टिकल्स हैं तो पार्टिकल्स की तो प्रॉपर्टी है कि वो मूव करेंगे ही करेंगे बट 
वेन नाउ वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड हीट टू दैट फूड जब हमने उस फूड को और हीट दे दिया वी हैव इंक्रीज इट्स टेम्परेचर तो क्या होगा कि उसके जो पार्टिकल्स हैं वो और तेज भागने लग पड़ेंगे राइट दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ एनी थिंग इट गोज बॉइलिंग फास्ट वी डू दिस नो इन इन आर किचन ऑल्सो वेन वी बॉइल वाटर इफ वी हम जब गैस को तेज कर देते हैं वी जस्ट हाईलाइट इट्स फ्लेम वॉट हैपन्स इट इट स्टार्ट बॉइलिंग रैपिडली दिस इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग यर फूड को हीट दिया उससे उससे पार्टिकल्स फटाफट इधर उधर भागने लगे जैसे ही काइनेटिक एनर्जी पार्टिकल्स की इंक्रीज हुई वो इधर उधर स्प्रेड हो गए एंड दे मूव्ड फास्टली फ्रॉम वेसल्स टू सराउंडिंग्स देन व्हाट हैपेंड क्योंकि काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स हैड इंक्रीज देयर फोर इट स्टार्टेड मूविंग हियर एंड देयर वेरी रैपिडली एंड दस फ्रॉम द वेसल दैट मीन फ्रॉम दैट utensil into which your mother was cooking the particles spread out into the air now air is common in your old house so wherever the spread of that air will go there there that fragrance will spread so now clear that how is smell of food instantly reaching our nose when it is cooked right so this is how diffusion is playing an important role in the spread of smell second example spread of bromine gas red brown colored in the opposite jar now this might be a new concept for you also you might not see this in ncert it's an extra topic which i have picked up so bromine gas you might have studied the symbols of elements right bromine is also one of our gas right it is a halogen i hope you might know and if you even if you do not know just understand that it is a type of element and it is gaseous in nature plus I have mentioned which कलर red brown कलर So this is easy to remember कि bromine एक gas है ठीक है वो एक element के form में present होती है and it is red brown in color. In the second slide only we had discussed कि matter बहुत तरह में classified है Matter किस चीज़ का बना है सबसे छोटा है एटम्स एटम्स ने मिल क्या बनाया था मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स ने मिल क्या बनाए एलिमेंट तो इनडायरेक्टली ये ब्रोमीन भी क्या हुआ मैटर तो अगर ये मैटर है तो इसके अंदर क्या होंगे पार्टिकल्स पार्टिकल्स हैं तो वो मूविंग होंगे और मूविंग को भी अगर हम एनर्जी देंगे तो वो वैसी स्प्रेड करेंगे नाउ वी विल स्टडी दैट व्हाट इज द एक्सपेरिमेंट सी यू माइट सी दैट देर आर टू जार्स ये पहला जार है ये सेकंड जार है राइट right? पहले जार में क्या है कलरलेस गैस है दूसरे जार में क्या है ब्रोमीन गैस है अब हमने नीचे से क्या प्रोवाइड की हीट प्रोवाइड की इसको सो नाउ ड्यू टू डिफ्यूजन द ब्रोमीन गैस मूव फ्रॉम लोअर जार टू अपर जार नाउ डिफ्यूजन अब हमें पता है दैट डिफ्यूजन विल ऑलवेज अकर फ्रॉम हाई कंसेंट्रेशन टू लो वेयर वॉज ब्रोमीन गैस गैस वॉज प्रेजेंट इन मोर अमाउंट इन लोअर कंटेनर सो इट विल मूव फ्रॉम लोअर टू फर्स्ट कंटेनर जब हमने हीट प्रोवाइड कर दी देर अकर रैपिड मूवमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स दस द रेड ब्राउन गैस फ्रॉम लोअर मूव टू द अपर जार दस the colorless gas which was present in the upper jar has also now turned red brown in color this shows that diffusion is occurring in the nature it is very simple right not to get confused with yourself it has a simple terminology moving into the next this is also same smell of agarbatti immediately spreads in the room when ignited the concept is same only there are three different example same concept agarbatti is also what a matter because it has some mass and it is occupying some space agar wo matter hai to agarbatti ke andar bhi kya honge particles what will those particles do they will constantly move ab humne agarbatti jala di when we have lighted it we have raised its temperature jab temperature raise hota hai to agarbatti ke move particles idhar udhar fatafat move karne lagenge right so this increases their speed and thus leads to fast spread of smell into the air it is same there is no huge difference in it okay now coming on to diffusion in liquids we know it might not be as great as that in gases but same as gases movement is not that fast and quick as it was happening in the gases though it is occurring but it is not as fast or quick as it occurs in the gases now there are several examples spread of ink we have we all know if you you might have all used markers you might all used pen you might have seen how that when pen finishes how that ink which was full in the starting when you purchased it and after you finish it up that ink is no more seen why this has happened that ink has also spread away right came in four crystals we had seen how those crystals have given purple color to the water 
how did it happen it also happened in the same way because particles they spread from one way to another but this is not as fast and quick like like in gases it spreads in a minute but here it is not like that dissolving of carbon dioxide and oxygen gas from air into water we have seen that how air having gases gets dissolved in the water blue colored carbon copper sulfate crystals turning water blue yes this experiment we have also studied in our previous slide videos only that how copper sulfate crystals were turning blue they turned the water blue into which they were added the concept is same all these are matter they are having particles particles are moving so but just the liquid particles are not as fast moving as gases therefore they will take time and lead to then lead to diffusion but diffusion will occur for sure because there is slighter movement in the liquids so diffusion in liquids is slower than gases but faster than liquid solids okay this is mistakenly written liquid is slower in gases but faster than solids now do you think the solids will have diffusion no because they do not have any interparticle space when there is no interparticle space they are strongly bonded you will not be able to break that force of attraction so if you will not able to break that force of attraction no movement of particles will take place therefore no particle movement thus no diffusion jab koi movement hi nahi hogi then there will occur no diffusion right so any other problem if you have just let me know through the video we complete the diffusion topic here so summing up all three topics states of matter solids liquids gases and diffusion i have covered the part 2 of this chapter now you will have a question answer round and further we'll begin with the part 3 thank you very much